The heart of an EOS digital camera is the Digic processor. With each new iteration of Digic, it brings new features and functions, and the Digic 4 processor in this camera is no exception. Because of the extra resolution provided by the sensor in here, there's an awful lot of data for the camera to process, especially when you're shooting bursts at 6.3 frames a second. But the Digic processor is about more than just passing data to the memory card. It controls all aspects of the in-camera processing, including white balance, 14-bit analog digital conversion, highlight tone priority, live view focusing, file size processing, and a new feature called peripheral illumination correction. Unfortunately, it's not possible to make a perfect lens. And because of the way digital cameras capture light, if it doesn't strike the pixels exactly square on, you can end up with dark corners. This is what peripheral illumination correction aims to correct. Canon have mapped around 40 lenses for the EOS 50D, 26 of which are preloaded into the camera. You can add the rest of them using the supplied software EOS Utility. If you use a lens that has peripheral illumination correction data available, you can select to enable it so that it will try and produce a more uniform brightness right across the image frame. The Digic processor is also responsible for noise processing in the camera. Because of the improved sensor technology and the gapless micro lenses employed on the sensor in the EOS 50D, the noise levels are inherently low. However, noise processing is still incredibly important. The Digic 4 processor does it very well. Instead of simply smudging out everything in the quest for clean images, it tries to retain as much detail as is possible. This means that even when you set the ISO expansion to on, you can get nice clean images all the way up to the maximum ISO range of 12,800. The ISO expansion settings of 6,400 and 12,800 are provided to help out in extreme situations. The reason they're not part of the standard range is that Canon cannot guarantee the high image quality expectations that they have for their cameras. However, they realise that sometimes it's better to get a shot than not. For those of you that want to shoot RAW, but don't need the full 15.1 megapixels of this camera, you've got the option of SRAW. SRAW is like a small RAW file, and there are two options. SRAW 1 at 7.1 megapixels, and SRAW 2 at 3.8 megapixels. While the fastest memory cards currently available are UDMA Class 4, this camera is future-proofed and will make use of both UDMA Class 5 and Class 6 cards when they do become available in the future. With the current Class 4 cards though, the camera is still able to shoot 60 large fine JPEGs or 17 RAW files before the buffer locks out. Once the new cards appear, it's expected that this performance will improve as the cards make use of the speed of writing from the camera.